Good morning, it's Monday morning and I would like to share a quick thought with you on last week's Parsha Parshas Toldos. And it's a very, very simple thought. It's going to take me about two seconds to say it. Don't be like Esau. Yeah, but don't be like Esau, not what you think. Uh, we know Esau is somebody who is a very evil man, somebody who's you know done a lot of terrible things. And uh, he was very, very physically strong. He was out in the field hunting, right? And Yaakov was the one sitting in the tent and learning Torah. But I don't mean that. When I say don't be like Esau, I don't mean don't be out there in the field hunting. Actually, what I would like to share with you today is a new insight into who Esau was. If you look at the Chumash and if you look at the words Esau is Yoideh Tzayid Ish Sodeh, you will feel, you will find the Targum which says that Esau Gvar Nachshirchan. What does it mean, Gvar Nachshirchan? It's a very strange word. We usually don't know what that means. Well, the answer is in Toysvis. If you look in Toysvis and Bobasar and Yesh Noichlin, he says something very interesting. He says, he was an, who is an Ish Nachshirchan? It's somebody who's Ish. Odom botel v'shoket ve'ene oisek b'klu. Somebody who is passive, quiet, and not doing anything. He's not busy with anything. Somebody who wants to achieve something in this world needs to be a little bit of ambitions. He needs to a little bit want to do something. He needs to have some sort of interest. And that's why, again, I would like to come back to my original advice and tell you, don't be like Ace. You know, get yourself some interest. Go learn something new. Go learn something about this world, something that you didn't know about. Just maybe learn some interesting facts or choose some, some area that, that's interesting to you and follow through. Because this is how you develop and this is how you will reach your fullest potential. Let's not be like Asaf. Let's be like Yaakov. Let's not just, you know, sit there and in this world, just be busy with the world, but not do not have any ambitions. Let's have ambitions, right? Let's, let's achieve things, let's be successful. And one of the things that makes us very, very, very bottle is our phones and our, our use of technology. Um, I'm, I've become lately a big advocate of, of um, living a life with less technology, living a life with less distractions, and really focus on things that interest you, focus on the things that, that you'd like to do. So maybe a good way to start being, stop being passive is to turn a little bit more to our own life, stop looking so much at what's going on out there and just follow your own life, you know, focus on the things you always wanted to do when you always needed to do, you know, turn off that phone at night, right, uh, don't look at that phone so much, right, do a little bit less social media, do a little bit less of that, you know, and I think that's maybe a good way to start to be in the ish. Oisik ve Torah and Oisik ve Oilom and to really develop into an interesting, fulfilled, accomplished and successful personality. In Ruchnius and in Mishmas. In all material things but also spiritual things. Have a wonderful week. Bye bye.